What's up everyone? Welcome to Small Business and in this lecture we're going to be talking about business ethics and social responsibility. So what have companies done, doing, uh, that is ethically wrong or correct? Uh, we're really going to take a deep dive into this of what is ethics, what does this look like in the business place, what companies have struggled with this. Uh, and what companies are doing a great job. So let's go ahead and get in the lecture and find out more. Again, we're going to take a look at ethics and social responsibility. Now, the objectives that we want you to achieve is you're going to be able to describe how ethics affect entrepreneurial adventure. So let's go ahead and get into it. What are ethics? I want you to think of some words associated with ethics, maybe some actions. Let's take 30 seconds, pause this video, think about what ethics are. All right, hopefully while you were having that little brainstorming session, you were thinking about right versus wrong, right? The human nature of right versus wrong, which this means is it doesn't matter what religion you are, where you are from, as a human being, you know the difference between right versus wrong. So now we're going to think as a society, right, dealing with each other, what are some basic ethics that we need to function, right? What do we need from other people, right, that we think would be good ethics, which probably at one time we didn't even think about this, but now in the current state that we are, that we need from people to function as a society. Well, hopefully you thought of some of these things, right? We need honesty, uh, not stealing, not murder, and the golden rule. So, right, the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated. Okay, these are some basic things. We need to know that when we talk to someone, that they are not lying to us. We need to know that when we leave our house, people are not trying to murder us. Now, this follows up to what is unethical. Now, I know someone might say is the complete opposite things that we just talked about, which is true. Uh, but maybe you can think of in the business world, what are some unethical practices that maybe are above our basic ethical needs? Now, if you just said, well, it's the opposite, absolutely, it's murder, stealing, cheating, and lying, okay, and we can really see how those play in the business world. Maybe not so much murder, we hope that that's not happening in the business world, but stealing, cheating, and lying are becoming very, very big issues, which is also leading us to believe, or actually the opposite, not believing anything that we hear or we see, that we have to do our own research, which is always good. You know, you always want to do uh, your own investigating, but it is kind of sad that we cannot take someone's word for it. Now, we're going to start a series of questions with the first one, is cheating ever okay? Now, ethically, we would know as human nature, this is not true, but I want you to think, because we're going to discuss this in class, is cheating ever okay? What about stealing? Lying? Right? Think about those. So are those ever okay? Because we're going to brainstorm those in class and come up with situations. Now, when you want the straight definition of business ethics, here it is from Investopedia, okay, where it talks about business ethics is a study of proper business policies and practices regarding potential Controversial issues such as corporate governance, inside trading, bribery, discrimination, and corporate social responsibility. Law often guides business ethics, while other times business ethics provide a basic framework that businesses may follow to gain public acceptance. So think about that, right? Now, we place laws, right? So we know how to function. Right? We, we place laws like so murder, right? Just in case in that, like we know that there's laws against murder just in case someone does murder someone, we know that there's going to be a punishment. Well, the same thing in business. There are laws set in place because there might be some businesses that don't care if it's unethical. If they can get away with it, they are. But the laws will uh, provide guides. While other times, it's just, like I said, a good framework, right? It's a right way to do business and to gain public acceptance. All right, now we want to talk about what are some hot topics in business ethics. What does that look like? Think about some things that maybe companies have done where you don't trust them anymore or you heard that in the news. 
Like hot topics, we might look at sweatshops. That's very, very big. Insider training, outsourcing, labor, and discrimination. We're going to take a deep dive into all of these uh, while we continue uh, through this unit. Okay? Uh, but uh, these are usually the very, very hot topics. And I want you to start thinking about maybe sometimes that you have seen this. Okay, guys, that concludes our part one of this lecture. Now, what I need you to do is I need to have you watch the three videos that are in the following slides. This is Nike Sweatshops. This is a John Stossel video about sweatshops and then Vice News about temp work. And again, I really want you to watch these videos all the way through. Uh, it's about 20 to 30 minutes uh, looking at that. And just, I really want you to think of from two different lenses. One, as a humanitarian, right? Your human uh, filter of how these people are working and how they're surviving and how they're living. And then the next though, I want you to put on your business lens and look at these companies. Are they doing things ethically right? Now notice I said ethically, not are they following the laws? Are they doing it ethically right? So go ahead and watch those videos, fill out your lecture notes, and then you can start part two of this lecture. Welcome back to the ethics and social responsibility lecture. Uh, hopefully you guys got great insight uh, from those videos. Very, very interesting, correct, where we go on one side where this is horrible. Look how do we treat sweatshop workers? Do we pay them enough? But then we counteract with John Stossel's video where we're saying, is this maybe American privilege, right? That these companies are looking forward to these jobs because it brings jobs to their country, to their community where people can work and make a living. And then when you think about the vices news, temp work, right? Companies that are just hiring out these temp works for long term, you know, and looking at that and oh my goodness, like as, you know, humanitarian, like you look and you go, that's so sad. Like how these people are living, they're not making enough, you know, to make a decent living. But then you look on the business side and you're like, well, you technically you're not breaking any of the laws. But again, is that ethically correct? Right. And I know we talked about this uh, in class, uh, but it, it's still just fascinating these things. And that's why there's so much gray. And truly, wherever you land, I think that you are right and you can make an argument uh, for that. So I understand both sides. But let's continue on with our lecture. Remember, we want to describe how the ethics affect entrepreneurial ventures. So now we kind of see, right, what is this looking for? If you're trying to outsource, if you're trying to do those things, um, how it affects the entrepreneurial venture and what you want your company to stand for and all of those things. Now, in this part of the lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep dive and actually give you references, right? Show you companies where you guys can research uh, and do more to really see what this looks like. So we're going to start with this first question. Companies that have shown bad ethics. I want you to think right now uh, because you guys definitely have seen this in your lifetime. What are some companies that have done some shady things uh, that maybe you don't trust them as much as you once uh, did? Are they even still in business? Or maybe you've shifted or you know the society has shifted away from that. Think about that. Uh, but here are some ideas if you want to look. Uh, Abercrombie & Fitch is known for it. Nike, SeaWorld, H&M, McDonald's, Amazon, Walmart, okay? Uh, these have uh, been very, very hot topics with companies uh, providing bad ethics, right? And they've uh, taken a hint and they've been under fire. Uh, in this list right here, uh, there's been uh, a couple more, right, that gives examples. And then 2017, just a year recap of companies that took bad hits of from ethical uh, performance. Now we go to the next one, okay, companies that have shown good ethics, right? You maybe think some companies that do a really good job, right, of uh, promoting their business, maybe uh, using their business to help other causes. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Hey, right? Google. Microsoft, uh, Proof, uh, which is here in town, Tom's, which is great, Vivid Roots, another company in town, okay, Starbucks. Uh, these companies uh, do a great job with great ethics. So again, Google how they treat their employees. Okay, same with Microsoft, Proof, every time you buy sunglasses, 
uh, they buy a pair and give it to someone in a third world country. Tom's the same situation where uh, you buy a pair of shoes and they will donate a pair, a pair of shoes. Uh, Vivid Roots, all about water, okay? So again, doing a great job. Starbucks, known for the way they treat their employees as well, okay? Uh, so look at this list again. Look at the examples of 2017. Really take a deep dive. Notice the difference between the two. Now, let's kind of come back to the bad ethics and what do companies do to recover, right? It's not the death of you. Right? We are all flawed. We're going to have things that we mess up on, but it's how do we respond uh, to that. So let's take a look kind of some things. As a company, you need to investigate. You need to do an audit, right? What broke down? What's contributing to this? You know, what are we doing not right? You need to publish reports. Transparency is very, very big, especially in today's age. You need to publish everything. Show uh, what your company is doing, right? It, it makes it, it makes you, it forces you, whatever you would like to call it, to really, really, really practice good ethics because you know you're pushing this out to the public. Also, social responsibility standards. Right, so what are you doing where the public it says this is our standards and you're providing those standards? And then of course the community give back programs, helping out third world countries, helping out the community, just in your maybe the factories of your business or just the shops in your business, something like that where you're giving back. Now, I'm not going to click on these, but these are links right here, and this is just from one company. Nike uh, you know, really, 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 really took it a hit uh, back in the 90s about their sweatshop, and I think they've done a marvelous job of taking that negative and trying to make it in a positive. So click on this. The links, they'll show you how Nike gives back, the Nike factories reporting, and then their social responsibility.